What is going up guys? Welcome back to the best day trading, investing, money management channel on YouTube. Welcome back to the team and welcome back to the show. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the newest member of the Zero Dollar Commission Club and that broker is Ali Invest. Now Ali Invest is one of the more popular brokers out there long-term investors it's not really an active trading platform that I use um, I have used them in the past when I first started I ha opened up an account with them because they used to have 495 commissions and back in the day back when all of this was going on that wasn't too bad TD Ameritrade had seven dollar commissions Ali invest had five so I moved money there soon realized that it was more designed for long-term investing and stuff like that. Not so much day trading. And so I kind of moved my money out and I have used the Alley Bank in the past. Now that's why I that's how I found it actually. Is because right now I am in the progress of moving my bank. I made a video in the past explaining why. Um, just to recap that video, it's just because of lack of interest. That I'm getting, I'm only gonna, I'm getting 1.8 on this account, and I just had a uh, credit union offer me 4%. So I'm easily gonna go with them, and I just gotta take a couple hours and move my money around and get it all situated. So Ally Invest really is kind of like the last, last couple people to follow in the zero dollar commission battle. We had a ton of companies: TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab. Interactive Brokers, E-Trade, Trade Station, and now Ali Invest. So what are my thoughts on this? Um, I really think it was about to happen. I'm sure they probably lost some clientele from it. Maybe some beginner traders or be beginner investors would rather go to that $0 commission like we all should. Because if that's say you're placing 10 trades a month, rather than just keeping your account with Ali Invest and paying 10 times 5, is $50 a month on commissions. Transfer that money to TD Ameritrade and you don't have to pay commissions. So a lot of people actually probably did that. And Ali Invest realized, crap, we're gonna lose our clients. Why don't we just say whatever and that's just get rid of the commissions. And that's what happened. And for traders and investors, that's the best thing that you can happen. That's amazing. Now, what made this battle happen? Now, now a lot of these brokers wanted to get into that Robinhood field. That Robinhood field is pretty much the $0 commission market. It's more of the beginner friendly trading, investing. It's easy to use. It's slick. It's on the mobile and it's on the web based. So it's pretty cool. And a lot of a lot of big companies saw this as an opportunity to dabble in this market. And that's why we had one going, then we had three going, and then we had just a wave of other brokers go in. Now I'm still waiting for companies like SureTrader to see what they're gonna happen. Because they're an offshore broker, and now the only advantage that they have is to bypass the PDT rule. And that's pretty much why you pay so many fees with them. The commission there is $4.95, and then you pay a penny a share, so it rounds out to like 10 bucks a trade, and it's pretty expensive. But what stands out from these main brokers compared to Robinhood and Webull and Moomoo and all those other mobile-based commission-free trading platforms is their customer service. Their customer service is the best thing about them. You can call them up and literally place a trade. You can literally call them up cancel a trade and it's really easy and it's not too complicated. If you try to reach out to Robinhood, Robinhood sucks for communication. Yeah, you call them, you wait like two or three hours and then let's say they don't even know what the issue is and then let's say, oh, you send them an email, oh, we'll get back to you in two to three business days. Oh, okay. Like it's ridiculous rather than calling up one of these mainstream brokers and just using them like that. So really my thoughts are this on Ali Invest. I think it was, it was bound to happen and I'm happy that they did and welcome to the club Ali Invest. We're happy to have you here and I'm excited to see where the future holds for all of this. So that is it though. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did, drop a subscribe down below. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive 
and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care and have a good one.